Hi guys, welcome to this video about left WM. It's um, nearly the end of August and you'll see if you update your systems you get new packages in. At this point in time the packages are still on testing but I'll move them in a bit after this video. And there are two major changes you should be aware if you are a left WM user. When you update your system, right, then left WM, like maybe if you followed the video on Hyperland, I've made the it possible so you can install left WM from AWAR, left WM Git from AWAR, just like Hyperland, and this is ours, left WM dev Git. This is tested and this works with the config of Arclix, right? That's always tested. Those guys will just be every day script. Uh, we, every day we build our scripts, and if there is something new, voila, you get a new one, whether it's tested or not. It's just a war. This has been tested. The dev. The new guy is also left wm dev kit because of the fact that the guy who makes the package build links this one to that one, right? A dependency. So we got rid of that dependency in ours. So left WM dev git goes together with left WM dev git here. The theme with that one. Okay. I think we jumped more or less 30, 40 commits or around two, three months or something like that. We went to a new version. So if you update your system and you still have the left WM dev git on your system, you did not change it, you'll get something else, right? You'll get this reference. As you see at this point of recording, it has the exact same number as left WM Git. So we have at this point in time, no difference between left WM Git, so the AOR and our own. But of course in due time, in two, three months, we'll check again how left WM has progressed and it's stable or not and then we test it and then we release another left wm dev kit so at this point in time no difference should be expected voila that's one thing and the other thing is your decision altogether is also to install the team dev git and that's the tool to change uh, theming if you know your uh, aliases then there are aliases and oh, I can do this. I think I can. Nope, I can't. So anything about LT, left theme, here they are. Here. This is a shortcut to update the theme. So let's go through the motions. Update all the themes you have. Install with this one and apply with that one. So at this point in time, this is installed and is also applied. That's what we're looking at. This is DB Nemesis. And um, the code, the update of your new code is, as usual, in Tiling Window Managers, always in the same place. And that is definitely in ETCSCAL. So if you want to have the new version, the new code, the new config, you need to do a scale, say yes, copy paste it over, super shift R, everything gets reloaded. This is our candy, so the default is pointing, pointing this one is pointed to candy. That's what we're looking at. And all the key bindings should work. So super X should work, super shift escape should work, super Q, super shift Q should work. The all should be there, all the key bindings. As well as if we do the control alt, let's see this one for example, and then if we go for have a look at all the different layouts, they should be there. Super Q, super Q, super Q, super shift Q. Now, if I install, uh, if you install themes, there are many themes like 26 or so themes from Arclix, you just get an extra folder and you apply it to that. So if I want to go back to whatever I had in the past, I say LTA DB 
Nemesis because it's already installed. I just need to apply it. First, we tell them we did a scale, remember, LT update, and then we can apply it. Voila. Is there anything else I should be saying? What did we change? You can follow everything on GitHub. But basically, um, we changed some stuff inside the config.rom. In here, we have uh, removed layout. Layouts, that's the name, layouts, a lot of lines. But as you can see, the layouts are not, well, are there. And we can just switch around if we want to. And if you just open up a few more, you'll see a little bit more of these choices, which I've now not a screen here. A lot is possible in left WM. Usable is something else, but it's possible. Voila. That's it, I think. Um, so if you're gonna go for an update, remember two things. There is a de de two devs, right? The application dev and the theme dev, and it, also the Arclix. Um, so this package, sudo pacman minus s Arclix left LDM will be changed. 082, I think. Yep. Yeah. So that's changed. The config is changed, and that's this thing, right? That's the config. And this specifically changed, and of course, then Alzerti and Equerti as the same, but just for different users, end users, different keyboards. That's it for me. Enjoy left WM, and um, I'll just put everything now from testing repo to the actual repo, and then we can build the latest left WM ISO, so the Arclix B left WM, to release on the 1st of September. That will be easier. All right, cheers.